guys, how are you today? It's Anastasia if you're new to this channel. So as you see, I'm wearing something classy today. I'm actually getting ready for my trip to London, hopefully this summer. And yeah, I'm gonna link items that I'm wearing down below. And because, you know, I always do these videos on luxury handbags, I review them. And because I source them a lot for my clients, I'm also kind of a specialist in luxury shoes. And I think I have something to say about them. And this video is about Oren sandals. I had mine 2015. I bought them in Italy during my mini moon. We had like a two weddings we had like registry it was 2013 and then we had a big wedding in ukraine 2015 two years later and we had like proper honeymoon in seychelles but then we had a mini moon uh, in Italy, which was amazing. And it was my birthday as well. And I bought these, I remember. And um, yeah, I see some of my clients, I follow them on Instagram. And when they wearing something a lot, it means that the item is such good quality, such good design that it's kind of a no brainer. And now with the Instagram, it's even better, you know, like you can see everything and you can see like some bloggers are wearing items all the time. And this actually, some usually means that the item is really well designed and has a, such a good quality and you know aesthetics everybody needs aesthetics and comfort in our day and age so I'll have to decide if I wanted to upgrade these orange for new ones They're pretty old I'm not even gonna show you close I had them conditioned in one of the workshops in Dubai. Champion Cleaners, they also did some work on my Kelly. It's a Kelly 28. I think I also have a video on that bag. And I think I want to go to the store now to see what colors they have this season for shoes and for bags. And so I'm wearing the trouser that I picked up from H&M for just my uh, high street, for my real styling and for my you know, street style photos. And uh, yeah, the color is just so great. It works really well with this shirt that I bought previously in a year from Ralph Lauren. That's very much me, soft style something that's not muted because I had a pair of trousers in black they were amazing as I really remember I wore them last year a lot but they just don't work so well with all the like softer colors and creams and with the blue and yeah it kind of worked as well with a tan but I'm like yeah I'm more in a mood for blue navy and I think it looks better because you know black has to be like in perfect condition to look nice while this one is you know it can be not as perfect still look good so i think i'm gonna go to hermes today and see what the new leather colors that they offering yeah how do you like my <laughs> kelly size 28 i think i have a video i am in a mood for shopping for some yeah something for myself my birthday is coming in august i'll probably want to treat myself last year it was a dior book tote i think i might be ready for a nice watch we'll see how it goes i did my research just before i had my first baby had a lot of time and i tried like all the rolexes i didn't i wasn't into cartier or chanel or dior back then i just considered rolex but i wanted a bigger size like mask masculine watch. I think now my taste changed and I wanted something that would be like square with like a metal strap but maybe I'll also consider watches with leather strap because I think they're more comfortable to wear and they're just a bit more classy. I think I'm turning into a classy lady finally. On Iwa, I'm learning French as well. Let's go! Allons-y! Allons-y, right? <laughs> getting pretty hot outside already 39 to 42 it was 48 yesterday if a uh, car gets heated it's just intolerable so everybody kind of like leaves the ignition on oh, when you go and do pickup pickup is killing me i'm quite lucky we have a store not far from me actually can go there i'm walking but it's too hot already so we're gonna drive walking bicycle usually i go there to to the waitrose they have waitrose and etihad towers and i usually cycle there but only in the evenings when the heat becomes 
more tolerable. And here it is, the beautiful roads of Abu Dhabi. Our mess is there. <laughs> and Etihad Towers. And this one is a famous Emirates Palace Hotel, seven star. I live here, so I actually go there. I cross here every single day almost, so I don't even notice, but it's super beautiful. And another uh, place is in a copper building. Very nice hotel. Okay, we are here. They always have such beautiful displays and there's a special fountain. This is the Etihad Towers and uh, they have a hotel here. You can go up and see the views and you can go for a little retail trip there. Yeah. All your luxury fix. Each season they uh, make new clothes and uh, introduce some new models of shoes. I think this year around they introduced some of these mirrors. They're really popular among Middle Eastern ladies. It might actually go well with my outfit today. And the ones with the heel are called Oasis. It's a very comfortable shoe with a small heel for those who need it. Uh, these is a classy orange. It's actually my size. Some other colors here. They also come in different types of leather, so this is, as you see, very smooth and it's probably like a box type of leather. Some others are more textured and sometimes it makes it more long lasting, so yeah. Some of them have like stitches that are contrasting, sometimes it has a white stitching or some other. Here's mine, as you can see, pretty old. Actually, I was a size 37 and a half and when I shopped they didn't have my exact size. So I went for 37, but it's a bit tight. It's better if you go for your true size. This one is actually not so tight. It fits fine. It usually is a bit narrow for people. That's why if you're in between sizes, you want it to size up if you're a bit wider. And the foot. This is navy. Such a lovely nice color as well. Here is the, the same one that I have. The color is called gold. So it's tan, but in our restaurants it's called gold. The color has a white stitching. I think mine is brown because I had them conditioned. In the beginning they also wear white. <laughs> I should definitely get a new one. I also reviewed some of these colored ones and I think they might be a bit too bright for me although I really love the emerald green. Uh, we had a lot of client orders for them since they arrived and they also have made a furry version. I'm not sure they have it here because it's not on a display. They also come sometimes in like all these like sparkly colors like the diamante with the glitter and some of them have a metal embellishments as well like this one in bronze this one some of the other stars that were really popular but i have not seen them here they don't bring them to the middle east so this is the oasis some of the other that was popular was the santorini yeah i think i'll take them i just want to try the second one maybe i should have tried the black one just for for a comparison here is the black one just a comparison also really cool but i think for my for my contrast the tan works just a little bit better what do you think guys would you go for black or tan i think i'm just sticking with the tan pretty classy that was it and uh, they also have a new bag and i love their perfume it's called h24 such a nice perfume it's like unisex and makes it feel like luxury <laughs> i don't know how to explain it i can't even like describe how it smells but it just smells amazing so you can congratulate me with my updated orange finally it was long overdue i was rushing because i had to pick up arthur after his school and he is falling asleep in a car my little one he's so tired i made him some wrap sandwiches today he didn't eat them but it was good for me <laughs> because I was really hungry and I could eat them. Just now, very yummy food that I made uh, for my son, but I had it myself. Yeah, today I didn't, didn't bring my own lunch, but I really want to go and have a coffee and have some time together with Arthur. So we're probably gonna continue and then we might check Manolo. This is the cutest cafe, we love it. And we usually order. Let's see what they have on a display. Hi, how are you? We usually come here to have these really, really cute pastries. Do you like any of those today? Wow. 
I've never tried this one. This one? I like the fruity one. Amazing. I like the What are you having? I love having a good quality time with art. Yesterday I had a quality time with my younger son and we had sushi burritos. We love sushi burritos from Carrefour. Wow, your baby Chino is here. So cute. What did mommy get? What do you think mommy got in the shop? <laughs> shoes. Mommy always buys shoes. Okay, mommy is predictable. Do you like shoes or bags? Bags. What color of the bag would you, would you get? Orange. Orange? <laughs> like this orange. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's that orange. Look at these new styles. Wow. Cinderella shoes. I quite like these because they're classy and they kind of go well with denim and with things that I'm usually wearing. This is a too small size for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this one before. It's new. Wow. So now they have the, the silver and gold and you can find it for any... Oh, nice. Leather. Wow, good. Leather means it's gonna be more wearable for everyday use for Europe. I have my Satan one standing on my shelf. You've probably seen it before. White one. So if you're a bride and you get a white one, you can wear it again with the right outfit. I think now white shoes can be worn not just for weddings, especially when they're not a bridal. 50% off. Okay, that's a really nice deal. They're really pretty. Oh, they're really tight. I'm trying a 38 pretty quite tight so some ladies love these and they have clutches as well i have some exciting news guys here i have um there are some shoes here that are currently on good promotion so i'm gonna just film all of them and if you're gonna be interested you can contact psl uh, to check the prices with shipping to your destination i really like these like if you live in europe you might wear them a lot, especially for some like wedding that's gonna be in winter. And I also like this one. This is like very rare. And it's currently 50% off. This color is very a uh, rare seasonal color, coral. Uh, it's not usually uh, made into all collections. There's a gold one and silver. What else is here? Oh, th these are really cute. This is actually my size, classy mule. And some of the flats with lace and some of the these colors. You like this one? All right, this day is almost finished. I'm back home now and I open these. I love the leather smell, so nice and new. And it's finally, I don't have to, you know, make them break in. They're quite a little bit like harder, I guess, maybe because they're new and you know, smell is just incredible <laughs> i love it that's um uh, yeah extra extra special day for me and you know it was so nice like the lady the girl was so nice that i wanted just to buy everything and you um you saw me or maybe i didn't film it i also was looking at the gypsy air bag such a nice bag and i think if i would shop for for like like statement bag at the, this point of my life i would probably go definitely for the gypsy air because it is a crossbody it is has a lock it has nice colors i just you know it's a wearable bag not like the kelly's or the birkins birkins are great i think if you don't have to carry anything else you can't put it on uh, on your shoulder that's the only problem with it only if it's like super big size travel size bag okay, maybe that's what you can do and i got the perfumes let me smell the perfumes now I think I'm the worst person in unboxing. I never actually do unboxing videos because I don't have patience for that. I just like take things that I bought and I start wearing them, I start using them immediately just after I purchased it. And they gave me some perfume testers and I'm gonna tell you which is my favorite. Which is your favorite? Can we do it a little lower? So that's the one I smelled at a store, H24. I've not seen it before. It says it's a high-tech fougere fusion of three vegetal raw materials, enveloping sage, electric narcissus, 
and invigorating rosewood. Uh, that's why I like it so much. I actually like herbal and like grassy flavors. So sage, rosewood and narcissus. Okay, I'm trying to smell, <laughs> trying to smell the other three, but in, in total, I think I love the bottle and I like the name as well. It's very unisex, very universal. I was actually struggling with my perfumes recently. I, my favorite is my blue bottle, Aqua, Aqua di Parma oh, from Italy, Italian edition with bergamot. And I, I almost finished that one and I'm usually not like super friendly with super girly fragrances I'm not I thought before I was like a Chanel or Dior kind of fragrance girl when I was 16 maybe I think uh, I remember like my school boyfriend would give me a Dior perfume and I was like very happy but it was really too sweet for me and it was a bit too strong as well Gallop Dermes okay Gallop Dermes is which one doesn't say it doesn't give me any ideas so that's I guess the equestrian one let me smell it I can smell the rose or the tobacco or maybe like cigar smell. It's actually like maybe it's good for somebody who would like to have a smoke but is not a smoker. It smells very interesting to me too. More on a masculine side, I guess. Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. That's one of the very famous ones and uh, I don't know much about it I either. I just know that they have really pretty bottles. This one is with the yellow. So it is Jasmine, Kumquat and Sap. What is Sap? It's like a moss. Very fresh as well, very very fresh. But with some sweetness, so definitely more feminine fragrance. Very delicate and yeah, feminine. Not too much feminine on a right balance. And yeah, I think this kumquat is a little bit citrusy and a little bit fresh. Yeah, this one is my favorite for sure, H24. I hope it's gonna smell as good uh, later when I try it. Yeah, I'm gonna smell myself a bit later to see if it works for me. And it's such a good day. I'm also going out with my girlfriends later. I wanna show you my suitcase that is ready to go to its next destination, whatever it is. Okay, so my suitcase is really excited. He expects that he'll be taken somewhere soon and <laughs> I was just, you know, packing some of my things to have this idea in my head that's actually real, like travel could be real because if you would tell me six months ago we're gonna travel somewhere, I would probably be like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> It's too stressful and now I want to you know like put my mind to like it's not gonna be stressful It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm kind of like still deciding which accessories I'm gonna take which ones are gonna stay uh, I don't know if I should again like do a big clear out and update all my shoes for the new ones I wasn't really in the mood for that and I'm also going out tonight with my girlfriends We wanted to do like beer some food and we want to do shisha but we don't have places that do that serve it uh, for all of these things so we're gonna have to choose where we're gonna go uh, would you be interested to see my outfit for the evening also wanted to show you my latest sewing project it's one of my favorite jackets it's actually from Zara but I thought that if I'm gonna be traveling again I might need something like this it's really really old I think it's <laughs> older than me it's not older than me I bought it maybe when I just got my first job so it was really long time ago and it's uh, it was still like in kind of good condition but some of the stitches became undone and it wasn't finished properly you know my mom had this idea recently that uh, you know additionally yeah to comment on like cheap versus expensive clothes 
I think even in the material sometimes cheap stores can have quite a good material but it's just not finished properly so if you can do like hand finishing for the garments you know like some of the threads they're just like sticking out and if you can put a bit of effort to put it back so that's what actually what I did I got my threads that um, was matching and um, the only thing that I need to finish as well is on the sleeve some of these like stitches were not as perfect and I like you know when you see it you can tell it, it's not properly done so yeah if I would be able to find a similar jacket I would definitely buy it I'm just gonna show you it's just such a good piece and yeah the color is right and uh, yeah the style is like so glossy I think it's like a Saharian jacket that kind of goes with any style so I would probably wear denim a shirt or like a tank top or a t-shirt but it looks really smart with a shirt and it doesn't take a lot of room and it's like windproof and probably not like so much waterproof but it's very comfortable why I like it as well it's so soft on the inside it has this cotton lining and it's just so comfortable that I really I feel like it's mine I think uh, like some of the really expensive brands they do something similar like Laura Piana but it will cost me an arm and leg so probably um, before I'm ready to commit to Laura Piana I'll just wear this one so nice right do you agree I really can't wait to go somewhere we probably need to make a new topic or a new name for these videos how to spend a lot of money and have fun so this is on the topic of how you make you can make yourself feel a bit better when you're down so I was talking about it in my previous video that yeah sometimes you really are on your like low mood and I was quite low on my like lowest low point around a week ago that's why I went and I spent a lot of money in Lush I think this is such a great like business <laughs> you're not buying anything special but the experience that you have inside a store and everything's so colorful so I think it gives me color therapy like smell therapy and you know like self-care and I love it I always like remember when I was just a student in uh, in London and in Newcastle and back then it was a little bit more expensive for me at this point but I anyway I always like treated myself to some bath bombs and some like fresh masks uh, I think their, sh their shampoos were a bit like too expensive for the money but now I'm also into their shampoos as well it's not sponsored video I bought this for my husband because I was si recently using some of like more professional cosmetics for my hair and I think it doesn't, didn't suit him and I also got a face mask that's like a mega mint I always had a problem with their masks because you know they always you have to keep them in the fridge and um, they like if you don't keep them in the fridge they become like moldy inside and I was recently using their soaps a lot and it also like for few reasons I think why people buy because they want to have the aesthetics they want to have the color fragrance as well like smell matters but mostly I think it's the the color like the physical like new thing that just like brings you this new energy into your life and uh, yeah nice fragrance is just an addition and you just make sure you you are you know like cocooned in this experience and you like totally immerse I really believe that like colors they impact our life like I, I see it a lot in my work how people change when they start wearing right colors or how people just like you know involve in life evolve uh, by picking colors that are different season by season and then it's no worry when you would just want to you know swap it for some other color so this is my kind of therapy I guess and it really really worked even just like by going to that store I instantly felt better and I also wanted to do something nice for my girlfriends as well so I got some bath bombs for them they're so cool 
uh, this one is orange and it's citrusy so it's for my friend Sylvia who is like she's a bright blonde and she's an artist and she likes all the colorful things and her art is amazing so like bright and colorful and abstract and I think it's gonna be totally her my uh, our other girlfriend Katya she is bright and very beautiful blonde and uh, she currently does uh, lashes I think for her yeah I got this one a peachy one it's so cute cute and sexy just like Katya because she is our like sexiest lady ever and this is gonna be for her the smell is very uh, nice and uh, light and peachy and you know girly and slightly cheeky and this is for our third girl Christina I know her a bit less but she's also an artist and uh, this one is really soft and it has a little bit of color inside and the smell is like slightly like rose raspberry with a little bit of like freshness I think anybody would just like love to have a lush bowl for you know for fun to have a nice experience and for me I got this one can't remember the name but this one is purple and you can use it like many times so I put it in the water and it turns my bath into purple bath which is amazing and I love it's also like my color therapy and it has the smell of like lavender Ooh, something a bit stronger so it's a little bit like perfume as well but yeah but the whole experience is just incredible and I got another one for me or for my sister if she's coming the purple rainbow <laughs> it's like a rainbow ruby yeah pink purple and blue you can tell that I need pink in my life but not in terms of clothes I usually don't wear pink clothes but some objects that are pink I could use them oh. And everything just smells amazing so if you need some therapy self-care try something with color and fragrance and I think some of these like soaps are just like amazing for for that reason I can't decide if dinner is gonna happen tonight or not if I'm gonna make it I'm slightly tired by now but I have to tell you the new Oren are a thing I love wearing them they look so nice so much nicer than the ones I had. So I'll probably just like go out very casual and uh, I'm gonna wear my new Oren. I'm gonna wear jeans, probably these jeans. And I have a new bodysuit from ANF that I've shown you in my ANF video. And a blazer, I guess. And it's gonna be my outfit for tonight with some bright lip. Although I don't have a bright lipstick. I think nobody does lipstick. We have to we have to wear masks like you know when you enter the hotel you have to wear a mask when you already like sitting by the table you can remove it yeah our bars and that serve drinks that are only located in hotels that are licensed and there's one that's not too far from us um it's called intercon and they had the chamas and they have that one i don't think it has a traders mix it has a bibles and the one we're going to is a belgian yeah belgian cafe and we wanted to get some beers and uh, I don't know mussels what do we what we're gonna eat it's not clear yet probably they will not have shisha yeah I'm a girl and I don't like drinking too much but in a right company I actually like this like light beer I guess and uh, that you can get in Europe like in Prague Prague is really wonderful for the light beer homemade I'm not like, into like strong ones okay let's think about dinner I was planning to make a like beef and carrots too for for the kiddos <sighs> yeah <laughs> okay let's get to it celery carrots everything will go and I'm gonna use my multi cooker I'm just gonna chop these celery sticks some of these carrots and beef uh, it's already cut into a stir fry but I'm gonna just make it a bit smaller pieces uh, maybe I will not. Maybe I'll just leave it like this for the time being. For the adults, it's gonna be fine. For the kids, I usually make slightly smaller slices. Do you want to see me, <laughs> or you want to see me cutting my vegetables for dinner? Such a boring job, but let's make it a bit more fun. Usually, I make it cooking my me time. I would usually put some music on. I watched a few times chefs how they 
work they usually have some like I think they listen to some books or like podcasts or music and usually like a chef is like busy with his cutting and prepping if they don't have an assistant chef if they like work privately you know in one of these like fancy houses I sometimes think it's gonna be my next career to be a celebrity chef so if you like my cooking let me know <laughs> I might actually do more cooking than styling so I'm just gonna cut it and you know celery just adds you this flavor that you need in your stew and yeah we need carrots as well I'll probably not peel it I'll just leave it natural you also need an onion of course too. Most importantly, sometimes I use leek if I don't have an onion or I'm just in a mood for soft onion smell and flavor. But you can't go really wrong, I guess. When all the vegetables are gonna be cut, I'm just gonna put them in a multi cooker and I'm gonna put it on a frying mode for maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and I'm just gonna fry all the vegetables that they will you know extract some more flavor and then i'm gonna put the beef in and i'm gonna put it all on you know like the stew or like high i think the high intensity if you have a different multi-cooker slow cooking mode maybe how you can say it for another maybe an hour hour and a half so the longer it stays the more like tender the meat is and for kids they love it it's easy to eat and then you can keep it in a fridge for another few days that's one of my favorite lazy recipes I haven't done it for for quite a long time now but most of the time also when I cook I also have to you know do work in parallel because I work with my colleagues who are based in London and the time difference and you know I always have to be online so I'm cooking usually uh, with my one hand and I have my laptop here that I can like reply or send payments again or you know confirm some details or manage the shipments it's always like the routine process that has like work has to be done but yeah anyway it pays off good work always pays off dinner actually happened quite happy to say almost done and i'm gonna go out with my girlfriends you want to see my outfit so it changed it's good when I'm filming and I have my makeup on so it was easier to go out I just need to change my outfit and I'm um, just chilled because it's like casual drinks uh, midweek wearing my new Oren have a denim that is from Arkit this is my like plain denim but it fits really nicely and it's quite casual this is a white top from NF and yeah this uh new blazer that i got from h&m it actually wasn't in my review so this is the right one that i'm gonna link down below i wore it out already and yeah you see it has big pockets so you're not gonna need a bag to go out i'm just gonna take a bag with things for my girls it might seem easy to be me and to do things at the same time but it's not unfortunately i think when you like change your activities during the day it makes everything just super hard because there are different activities and you need to you kind of lose focus and in the morning I sometimes can focus on work so something that I decided to do now for my productivity is to split my day in two shifts for work because when I come back from my pickup from school pickup is really like damaging to my physical and mental health it takes me a good hour to like wind down and to feel normal again so I'm really unproductive I can like reply yes or no but I'm not like productive in terms of like some more serious thinking or filming so today was a little bit draining as well and yeah mornings are always hectic so I find that later in the evening when everybody's fed I can still uh, 
squeeze in a little bit of work so that's gonna be my new routine some work in the morning like planning and routine work and filming while kids are at school and then late in the in the evening some kind of work that needs a bit more concentration and focus instead of you know that time that you usually spend like watching something or reading a book I haven't read books for a while now yeah and exercise I usually squeeze in the morning as well after school or you know your school run also kind of counts like a cardio and I also try to squeeze one on a Saturday when husband is at home and uh, he's with the kids he usually would do one during the week during the weekend and I would do one and if you struggle like really just like do small power workouts uh, it's important to just create this habit I was really bad at this before and uh, yeah when I just decide okay I'm gonna go anyway I'm gonna do a little bit of running and a little bit of like sets of reps with with a machine or just you know that just squats or lifts even just 20 minutes it's fine just get in a habit and it's been proven that exercise is good for your brain for your mental health so it's not just about the looks or you know to be fit or to be skinny it's for your brain basically <laughs> it makes sure you don't lose all these like neurons We are going out with Christina and some other girls. <laughs> 